and for enabling DRS we basically right click the cluster and then go settings again and then select vSphere DRS edit settings and then we need to enable DRS once it is enabled we have three modes in DRS manual partially automated and fully automated manual is there's no go there's not going to be any DRS movements at all so it's as good as basically not having it but if you have partially automated it's basically means that whenever you power on a VM it will suggest way to re uh, way to allocate your resource which uh, which host to place your new VM if it's fully automated then basically uh, vSphere DRS takes care of everything and even in this we have conservative um, and then we have so we have three uh, we have one to five so we have one and then we can move it to two which means it's balance uh, DRS only performs recommended when workload is extremely imbalanced or virtual machine demands is not being satisfied and then we have three which is DRS provides recommendations when workload is moderately imbalanced threshold is suggest for environment with stable workload by default so this is what it will come up when you enable it and then option four is uh, recommended when fair um, workload is fairly imbalanced this threshold is suggested for environment with busy workloads and then the maximum is aggressive which is DRS recommended when workload are even slightly imbalanced and um, basically uh, DRS tries to rebalance it and it's more dynamic. We can also enable predicted DRS which you can see here which means if you are having a host failure or there's a predictive hardware failure on any of your um, any of your uh, host uh, hard drive or anything like that it can pick it up and it can basically um, put it on maintenance uh, maintenance mode and predictive um, DRS pick, take care of that also we can see virtual machine automation which can be enabled other options here you can see are available we uh, vm a cpu over commit is there memory matrix and vm distribution so we don't touch these uh, we don't need to really play around with these so these are the main options and if you want a fully automation uh, meted dynamic environment make sure you uh, set automation level to fully automated and uh, migration threshold to aggressive okay that's about it guys i hope you enjoy the session and uh, the main reason i created this session is uh, because the previous session which i have done it was uh, on htm it wasn't on html5 it was on flash client and people were suggesting that i should do one on html5 so there you go be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up bye